Attention, this is a news alert. Oh, great, another one. Bypassing security protocols. Initiating launch sequence. Our investigative team has just reported a missile launch. My god, I never thought they would do it! We urge all of our viewers to take immediate shelter. Prepare for evasive maneuvers. Mayday, mayday, mayday! Mom! What is it, Harold? I think we're actually going to war. We're always at war. I've heard they're gonna tell us about a new bomb. A new bomb. Goodness, where is this world heading to? Do you also fear a global escalation? Do you wonder if you'll be next? Find out now with the most trusted news source money can buy. This is Frontier News with Rachel Starling. Good evening. Tensions have escalated to unprecedented levels between the United Western Republics, UWR, and the Eastern Sovereign Federation, ESF. Both superpowers now consider the deployment of the Pulsar Core Warhead, the latest invention in military technology. But what is the Pulsar Hey, do you mind turning warhead? that off? Our no, Tyler, this is serious. Thunderbird has more. It's like such a bad vibe. Thanks, Rachel. If this thing goes off, we're officially entering World War III. Yeah, but I don't know how knowing about all this really helps anything. It undergoes a three-stage process. It first explodes like a conventional nuke, then implodes, and then unleashes a geostorm. God. Obliterating everything within 20 miles. We're so close. Babe, please. One wrong move from either side, and that was it. And this time, for real. Spyware breach detected. Initiating defense software, YH-23. Failure. Defense software overridden manually. Communications with Gaudano Home Military Base. Deactivated. Searching for the nearest Pulsar Core warhead of a partner country. Success. Retrieving launch codes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. We're about 80 miles from Phoenix, and we'll now start our descent towards it. Thanks for choosing Pan Continental Airways for your trip. Yes, Michael, I agree. The geopolitical tensions are at Oh, great. Yep, just our luck. It's like they're all prepping for the freaking apocalypse. I mean, with those news lately, I'm actually not surprised at all. Do we have to expect a third world war? And if so, when would it happen? Look, Rachel, let's take a look up in the sky. There are hundreds of military spy satellites up there. And like in all conflicts, there are more than only two actors. Some nations would love to see these two blocks at war. Launch codes retrieved. Launching in three, two, one. Foreign warhead launch successful. Target Gaudano Home Military Base. ETA, three minutes. Sir, unidentified missile detected. What? Heading towards the UWR. Elevate alert level, notify NMCC, initiate defense protocols, now! What the hell do you hear that? Uh, I think there's like a military base somewhere down there. What? Attention. We gotta go. This is a news alert. Go quick. The Frontier News investigative team has just reported a missile launch in the Pacific what? Ocean. No way. Oh my god, we're screwed. <gasps> The missile's current flight path is towards the United Western what? Republic. What? The UWR? Oh my god, this we is We urge it. all of our viewers in the UWR to take immediate shelter. T minus two minutes. Impact is imminent within the following areas. Godano Valley and Redstone National Park. Tyler, step on it! Quick! Where should we go? Should, like, should we just, just follow them? Drive as far away as okay, possible okay, from okay. that freaking military base! Okay, chill down! You nuts or what? That's it, people! We're all gonna die! Death is upon us! W what No! Get out of the way, you idiot! Move it! Holy crap! Oh 
You okay, babe? Initializing final trajectory phase. Re-entering low Earth orbit. Detonation in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Disengaged. You have control. Jesus fucking Christ! We're not gonna make it! Brace announcement, now! Brace for impact, everyone! I repeat, brace for impact! Yeah, of course. It's stuck. Just give me a second. <laughs> Wait, do you feel that? to assure you that we're trained for situations like this and we're currently working on restoring our systems. Thank you for your patience. What the? Something's going on! Ignore it! Focus on the engine! What the hell is going on? Oh my god. It is the second stage. You know, that new pulsar weapon thing. <sighs> Oh my god, Tyler! <sighs> drive! Freaking drive! <sighs> Holy shit! <sighs> oh, I think it stopped. No way it stopped. Like, what would be the point of that? God. What's going on? I think it really stopped. We should probably, like, we gotta find some shelter in the camp. Sir, the engines won't restart and communications are still down. Okay, son, first of all, relax. Give me something, anything. Well, there is a landing strip in our glide range, about 100 degrees to the right. All right. But, sir, it does look very short. Well, we don't have a choice. We were way too long to make it to Phoenix. Oh. Cabin crew, prepare for emergency landing. All right, let's prepare for a tide approach. Every foot counts. Roger, monitoring glide path and speed. Preparing for emergency landing procedures. Tyler, what are you waiting for? I'm just like wondering why it's doing that. Like this thing can go off any second! <laughs> Oh my 
Gear down, keep flaps as it is, and brace for turbulence. What? Th that thing is gonna rip us apart! Not if we make it in front of that mountain on the right before it hits us. Two thousand. The mountain will serve as a shield and cover. Now follow my orders. Gear down. <laughs> for impact. You're okay? Uh, yeah, I'm all right. Oh. Holy crap, did we just survive that? Yeah. We gotta get out of here. Oh, thank God we're down. All right, quick visual check and secure the cabin, will ya? All right, affirmative visual check. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain. Stay calm and wait for further instructions. Thank you for watching this Frontier News special report. Goodness me, that got me shaking. It really hits home. These are turbulent times in many parts of the world. As the big leaders seem to forget the most basic diplomacy, let us not forget that the power of change lies within our collective will. It's time to bridge divides, to heal wounds, and to build a future where the prosperity and dignity of all peoples are recognized. This is our call to action, our call for peace. Stay tuned. Anyway, what do you want to watch next? <laughs>